Hey second graders, our first writing lesson of the week is a really important one. It is. Yes. And we're going to be dealing mainly today with colors. So we want you to stop and get a green, yellow, and red colored pencil, crayon, marker, one of those things, and then come back to the video when you have those. Okay, by now you should have pushed, pushed resume. You have done already paused and gotten uh -huh. your three colors so that we can continue with our activity. Throughout our writing for like the whole year of mm -hmm. second grade and possibly even going further. Yeah, definitely. Our new writing curriculum has us using these three colors, green, yellow, and red, kind of like a stoplight, yeah. right? To help you guys organize your writing and make sure that all of the pieces of your writing that need to be in there are in there. And to help you tell what's what inside of a paragraph. So um, the first thing I want you guys to do is to get a green colored pencil, marker, whatever, whichever type of writing you got. And we're going to color in this first circle green. So if everybody can do that, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna, you know, kind of quickly shade it in. And we're gonna talk about what, when something is green in our writing, what does that mean, okay? So the first green that we'll see in a paragraph is the topic sentence, which is the heart of your, your writing. It's what it's about. So we're working with opinions right now. Mm -hmm. How we think, how we feel, what is our thought about something. So your first sentence should tell what your opinion is, be your topic. Like if I was going to say, what's your favorite season? What could be a topic sentence? Oh, I would say my favorite season is summer. That would be a perfect topic sentence. Now I know what the rest of your paragraph is going to be about summer and why it's your favorite season. You bet. Okay. So green for go. I got my topic. I'm ready to start writing and give you some more ideas about it. And I'm going to jump down here to the bottom because it's sort of like we were talking about in our other video, like hamburger, hamburger, buns. right? Yeah. And we talk our top and our bottom should kind of restate the same idea to remind the reader, hey, I just wrote a whole paragraph about why summer is my favorite season. I started by telling you that and I'm gonna end by reminding you of that. So your first and last sentence in your paragraph are the green ones that restate your topic and address your topic. Okay, so, and then that's kind of down here. It's also green. It says conclusions tie it all together. Like a pretty little bow. Thank you. So. We kind of skipped from the top to the bottom, but I think that's important for you guys to remember to always start and end with your topic. That's very important when you're doing correct writing in second grade and beyond. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go over to our next square or circle. Do I know my shapes? Are we not teaching I geometry think we're right teaching now? Shapes, yeah. right? Oh my goodness! Just making sure you guys are paying attention. That was a quick check. Yes. <laughs> so green for go. I got my topic. I'm ready to go. Yellow is our next color, and you might not be able to see this very well in the video, but trust me, color this in yellow. It's yellow. Yellow means slow down. After we have addressed our topic, we're going to get to transitions, and they are the glue for the key star ideas. They are reasons why we love summer. So what would be one big reason you really like summer? Well, one reason I like summer is because I can go swimming. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's great. And what I really loved about that sentence was mm -hmm. that you started it with the words one reason. Mm -hmm. Yes, so our yellow sentences are, will often start with words like that. And okay. they'll tell me one of the reasons you feel the way you do about the topic, why your opinion is that. Let's jump down here to the last one, which is red. You guys are gonna color this circle in red. And the red sentences in your paragraph are really, really important because they go into more detail. They have the E's. Examples, explanations, events, experiences. They are the meat and they give more details about your key star ideas. Oh, so okay. your topic was that you love summer. It's your favorite yes, season. It is. One of the reasons you love summer is because you like to swim. Yes. 
Now, when we get to our red, we wanna stop and we wanna give an explanation, maybe even two reasons why you really love to swim. What is it about swimming that makes you happy? Well, I love swimming because I can cool off mm -hmm. and I can play games in the pool. Awesome. So you just gave me two reasons, mm -hmm. two examples of why swimming is fun for you. Yeah. Awesome. And then you would go back and just say, and those are the reasons I really love summer or summer is my favorite season and tie it all together. Very cool. So does the color system make sense to you? Yeah, it reminds me just like a traffic yeah. light, like you said. I'm excited to see how we're going to use this and put it into a real piece of writing. Should we try? I think so. Okay. I think I'm going to move this paper to the side and keep this guy up for now. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys. Would you mind erasing that? Oh. I mean, it does look really cool. It but. does look really <laughs> nice. We're going to put this into action because we have a perfect paragraph here about why summer is super. This kind of looks familiar hmm. to me. Like, we might have talked about this last week. I might have read that already. You probably did. <laughs> and we are going to be underlining sentences in this paragraph with the correct color, okay? Correct. So I'm gonna give you this marker okay. and I'm gonna walk you through it. Right. So I don't want you to feel overwhelmed, okay? okay? Okay, you guys have your green colored pencil, crayon, or marker in your hand, right? Okay, so let's start. Our title, Summer is Super. The best time of the year is summer. This is our topic sentence. It's telling us how we feel. So what should we do? Uh, I remember you talking about the hamburger bun and the top and the bottom both mean go. Mm -hmm. So we need to highlight it in green. Yes. All right. So I'm going to highlight or underline the first sentence. Awesome. The, so the topic you're going to, that tells us this whole paragraph is going to be about summer and why you think it's the best season, the best time of year. Okay. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a yellow marker. Okay. okay. And I'm going to read the next sentence. First, I get to swim in the summer. Mm. What do you think we should do there? Okay, well, I remember when I talked about summer, I gave my reason first, and we were talking about our reasons being yellow. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna underline that sentence in yellow. And this is a sentence about swimming. Very good. And I noticed that the sentence started with the word first. Those mm -hmm. are one of those transition words that you're gonna see and is gonna be a clue. One reason, another reason, first, next, last. Mm -hmm. Those are clues that it's a yellow sentence. Okay. okay. After that, we've got the next two sentences. I like to splash in the water and try to float. I race my friends to see who can swim fastest. Mm -hmm. What are both of those about? They're both about swimming in mm -hmm. the summertime. So I have not gotten into another reason. I'm no. still giving details about my first reason. So what yep. color should those be? Well, you're still talking about swimming and that sounds like the meat of your reason mm -hmm. in your examples. So those should both be red. Yep, good job, underline them red. Do, do you need a red I marker? Really yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna underline not only the next sentence, which ends up the word float, but I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna underline the next sentence all the way to the word fastest. Very good. Okay, also, my family has summer cookouts. Hmm. Are we still talking about swimming? No, it sounds like the author is now talking about cookouts and no longer talking about swimming. Yes, so we're still under the umbrella of our topic. We're still talking about summer, summer. but it's a new key star idea with a new transition word also. Oh. So what color do you think it should be? Well, you said transition words are a clue that they should be in yellow. Yes. So I'm gonna underline our next sentence about cookouts in yellow because it's a brand new idea. Very good. So our second reason we like summer is because of cookouts. Now we're gonna go into the meat or the okay. examples of why we like cookouts. All my cousins come over, everyone brings food and games. Mm -hmm. So both of those have to do with cookouts. Yep. What should we do? We're gonna underline them in red mm -hmm. because they are the meat of our writing. Excellent job. And now we have one final sentence and that says, 
That is why summer is my favorite season. Hmm. What do you notice about that? Well, it definitely sounds a lot like our first sentence. And so because they sound similar, they're about the same topic and it's kind of like tying up our writing with a cute little bow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to underline it in green. Very good, that is our conclusion, which is restating our topic, reminding the reader that summer is our favorite season. That was a lot of work, but yeah. I feel like we both and probably the second graders learned a lot. Yeah, I think that was a really important lesson. We're gonna be talking a lot about this in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. And for the students, that's it for their lesson today.